Man, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I think it's been about a month. But yeah, what is going on guys? This boy HD Jammers here and I'm bringing you back, or I'm bringing you another Friday evening commentary this time round. I think it's been a month, like I said, since I've done one. This is episode 8 today. This time I remember straight off the bat, I remember exactly what episode I'm on and what to keep track on. So, uh, as always, we'll start with the messages first. Um, firstly, I would like to, because um, you know, recently things have been elevating up a little, things have been changing for me, the community itself. And uh, I would like to give shout outs to Kelvin, Kelvin Gion. I think that's how you pronounce it. Kelvin, you need to uh, tell me how I pronounce your surname, but uh, pretty much. Kelvin is one of the most, or one of the best Street Fighter second players I've seen in the world right now. And you know, if I didn't follow him and he didn't follow me back and see some of my videos, I probably wouldn't get a little bit more exposure than I have today. So shout outs to Kelvin. Uh, there, are the, uh, there are other people I should shout out as well, but Kelvin's the main one. We've been talking back and forth on Twitter along with Young Ice. Shout outs to Young Ice as well. We've been talking with other people as well. Just sharing tips, having a laugh, you know, talking. That's what we do over Twitter. That's what Twitter's for, socializing. And, um,. What else is there? I'd like to give out shoutouts to RNK Ichigo as well for kicking my ass every single time in the second characters. Uh, trust me, the list can go on and on and on, but I haven't got that long. But yeah, shoutouts to you three, mainly you three, and then the rest I will you know, have to write a list down and shout you guys out in the next video. But, um, secondly, I would like to apologise for not doing a Friday evening commentary for the last uh, you know, couple of Fridays or so. It's because, like I said, I probably said this in my previous episode, uh, I was a bit brain dead with thinking of uh, topics to talk about, but then, you know, I watch my live stream. Uh, I go on event hubs and read the news, and you know, the, I swear, without them, they wouldn't spark my like my brain, my my creativity ideas, my creativity, my topic ideas. And so, uh, mainly, today's topic is, uh, as you can tell from the title, young players. But um, before I get onto that, uh, what you're going to be seeing, or what you are seeing right now, you're gonna, I think you're going to see five matches. I think they're all different. Uh, I try to get matches. Yeah, ah, I try to get matches of each of my teams, or like at least three or four of them. I'm not too sure, but you're going to see five matches, 15 minutes long. I didn't want to make this video too long because I know you guys got something else to do. If you don't, don't want to watch the matches, that is completely fine because I know some guys streak. Ah, I know some of you guys strictly want to watch just poison matches. And some of you guys don't mind this stuff, so if you want to listen to the commentary, listen to the commentary. If you don't, then uh, you can yeah, just get off the video now. I, I'm not too fussed. But, um, yeah, so apologies for not doing a Friday commentary, but I've got a topic now. And it's all thanks to Alex Valle. I think that's how you pronounce his surname, Valle. I think someone has to tell me how you pronounce his surname. But, um, yeah, I was watching, uh, what was I watching? I was watching highlights of UFGT9, I think it was. And... Uh, I saw the guy CJ Truth. Some of you may know him. Uh, he's the number one Fei Long player on Xbox Live leaderboards, and uh, he's very good at Street Fighter Cross Tekken. I've seen some of his replays, and he's younger than me. And uh, I was I was listening to the commentary for the match, and something sparked my interest. And they're like young player. Uh, they must have said uh, someone was speaking to Alex Valle before his game. And they must have said young players. Uh, they kind of just have that just do it attitude. You know, they just kind of go all out aggressive. They're not patient, uh, they tend to do things recklessly, all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, you know, that is a very, very good point. And then I watched uh, Southeast, uh, Southeast Asian Majors, and some of the uh, some of the commentators were saying the exact same thing because there was a young player there, I think he was 16, his name was Vincent, I think he's a very good Ibuki player. And um, this is for Street Fighter 4 AE, by the way, sorry. And I was like, you know, if, if everyone's mentioned it, I might as well, uh, you know, share it with the guys, share it with the subs, and see what they're opinion on it now um I'm, like i said i'm a young player myself for those of you who do not know i am 19 years old yes a 19 year old uh decent at fighting games well it's not impossible but it's not something recommended i guess you know i play games but then street fighter Tekken was just one of those games where i just got really hooked on it and decided to get good at it and actually you know put a brain in it for a change but um yeah, so I, I'm a young player, and uh, you know, when I was listening to Alex Vai and some other people saying they do things recklessly, I was actually sit, I was actually sat down and I sat on my bed. I was actually thinking, do I do stuff recklessly? And I went, I went in my, uh, I went in my vault of replays that I have, and I was actually looking at the the amount of stupidity I do, and it's actually a very good point. You know, 
yeah, young players. Um, it's good to play fighting games from a young age, I guess, because if I'm correct, the CJ Truth guy I mentioned, he was playing fighting games since he was, uh, or he got seriously competitive in fighting games since he was 12, and my eyes nearly bulged out of my head, because I'm like, that's insane. And the guy's only like 15, 16. I know, I know people younger than me that are better than me at the game. It's actually ridiculous, but um, it's kind of good. Because, uh, you know, there, there could be a, a possible quote-unquote future career in this sort of thing. I mean, look at the States. The, you guys in the States will already know. I mean, like, you, the, the tournaments, you have Texas Showdown, uh, Final Round, Evo, uh, CEO. You know, those tournaments are pretty big. They're pretty big. They're gonna, they get bigger every year. So, I wouldn't be surprised if young players like myself, younger people, or guys like yourselves, would get a future career in this sort of thing because it's actually pretty fun and you know it's you get to travel um you get to all corner of the madness but i'm getting off topic we're back back to the young player young players thing um you know i i, I really feel that because uh, i i know i've had a few people ask about my age and they say it's good that you play finally now so that you kind of Alex Vaya said this as well, it's kind of you develop the, you do the reckless stuff and you have that just do attitude now, so then later on, like you know, probably in four or five years time, when you're kind of maturity, uh, uh, when you're kind of matured and in your uh, 20s or so, and you're starting to come in your 20s, you can, you've already developed that sort of patience so you can play that footsie game to a, a high standard, you can, uh, you know, punish things properly, yes! Yeah, in some of my gameplays, you can see I punish things and I uh, do all that stuff properly. But uh, I guarantee a lot of you think, you know, uh, my footsie game is not as good as it sh it could be. Um, some of you guys may think I do reckless things. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I actually do because if I give you an example, right? Uh, one of the things I like to do is if I can't get poison out, like you know, if I can't hard tag, if I can't do. Um, you know, uh, a boost, uh, a boost chain tag. I will just run up or dash towards my opponent and quickly do a DP to tag in Junior. Some of you guys may have noticed that on a replay. They're like, why on earth did you do that? Well, you know, that's me being reckless. That's me being patient. That's me trying to get poison out the quickest way possible. But you know, I, I've seen dumber players, older and younger. But um, you know, the, the the only strong advice I can give to uh, young players right now is to kind of um, develop start developing the patience now because uh, in fighting games I, I mean you see it all, you see it all the time in streams in uh, tournaments you know the patience is probably the key I think patience is one of the key to Capcom fighting games if you don't have patience then you're not gonna get far and um, you know the, another side of the, another thing about young players is we get well everyone gets mad really easily but I tend to see young players really get flustered and mad at themselves more than I see adults do because you know adults they play the game they can brush it aside because they've probably got more important things to focus about whereas young players you know all we've got is what school somewhat education we're on holiday and you know you know we always got that everyone's got that play to win attitude but like I said I, I see it more in younger players even in myself sometimes when I'm playing to win I play to win and sometimes I just get mad salty trust me guys if you could see my face half the times when uh, I, I lose a fight, it's actually ridiculous. It's <laughs> but you know, like I said, uh, the key to young players or you know, young players evolving into uh, top players, top tournament players. Um, I wouldn't admit, uh, compare it to anyone because I don't know how long ago they started. But you know, the key is patience. That's all you gotta do. Just be real, be patient, and um, try to work on your footsie games. Obviously, I, I mean, I hate playing footsie. Honestly, I. I I don't get it because footsies is boring it's it's boring but it's a necessity and um you know we i see a lot of people that are good at it i mean like the characters like law poisons whip um i think ken's good as well with you chum lee oh god i swear and you know their footsie games unbelievable and like i said i'm an aggressive player because uh, a lot of you may know already, and some some guys compare their poisons to mine because some people, even Kelvin said I was probably the best poison around, which I did get a little big headed at the time he said that. But you know, I know there's someone better out there. Than, uh, there's someone better with her out there than me. But right now, uh, from what I've been seeing, yeah, I'm probably one of the best. So yeah, but even my poison records, and I'm only young. But uh, you, you guys know I'm in the lab all the time. Well, not all the time, but the guys who got me on Xbox, you know, I'm in the lab developing and trying to. Um, improve my game as always you know I've, like I said you know the cliche answer for young players is you know if you play fighting games at a young age you get hooked you get addicted 
you kind of just, uh, you know, if it's Street Fighter or something, it's a game you love, you're going to get hooked to it and you're just going to play it non-stop until you become one of the best, because it's just something to do in your spare time, kill time, if you're not in education, if you haven't got a job like myself, then, you know, why not? Go for it. Because that's how I see things, uh, that's how I see things going. And uh, I, I did get a question, uh, I did get, uh, who, I can't remember who asked me, I think a sponsored player, when I went to one of my local tournaments, a sponsored player that asked me, he said, uh, if you had the opportunity uh, to take a career in fighting games or like, you know, attend tournaments around the world, like, you know, uh, 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 tournaments in the States and around Europe, would you do it? And I said, you know, it would, it would be nice, but right now I couldn't actually uh, say a definite yes or no because I'm at university right now and I want to go down that path right now, but uh, if it was really tempting, it sounds really tempting, and if I really was nothing, well, doing nothing, then yeah, I would go straight down the path of um, picking a few that. I'd uh, go down the path of playing fighting games as career, attending tournaments in America, you know, the weekly tournaments and stuff, and flying around the states. That'd be amazing. Because what? I'm 19. I, my my life is, uh, should I say, my adult life is <laughs> is just beginning. So I haven't got much to worry about right now, except university and trying to find a job, and money. So. Sorry about that guys, um, someone or my mom came to the door so I just kind of paused for a second, but um, yeah, pretty much, that is pretty much what I was saying, sorry for the big blur of silence, sorry, my mom had to tell me something. But yeah, if I had a chance to do uh, a fighting game as a career, or take it down as a path, I'll take it, I'll straight take it down a path, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it, sorry for the blabbering on, um, I did kind of go off topic with a whole bunch of things, but uh, I just wanted to cover the whole young players thing so in the comment section guys uh let me know what you think of young players when did you start playing fighting games did you start playing fighting games at the age of 12 and actually start going competitively or you like me just button bashing the rest of your life until you actually started seeing professional players actually uh, play the game properly and start sharing information over forums sure you can.com event hubs all that kind of jazz because i'm actually curious you know i started playing like i said um I only started playing fighting games seriously about two or three years ago, but I wasn't good at Street Fighter. And only about a year and a half ago, when Street Fighter was taken out, that's when you know, the nail hit me on the head and said, "Let's take this seriously." So um, that is uh, that would be pretty much that. Uh, is there anything else I want to mention? Oh uh, yes. Uh, so some of you guys are asking me. I've, I've been seeing comments on my videos and stuff asking me about. Uh, doing certain videos for you guys and uh, sharing certain information. What I want to do, there's a little series I want to do for Street Fighter Second, but it's just about sharing stuff that I found out in the lab and everything. I'm not sure what to title it, but basically it will just, it will pretty much just show uh, some new tech or some new stuff I found in trainer mode and pretty much saying is it worth doing in a match or not. So uh, I warn you guys on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter you'll know on Twitter when I'm going to start it. Um, other than that, the guys on YouTube just you know hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. If you enjoyed this kind of commentary, and if you uh, want some future content, you might as well hit that subscribe button as well because you'll always be up to date of when I upload a video. And some someone did ask me when do I upload Street Fighter second videos. Sorry for the guys who already know this, but I upload them every other day. Uh, well, not every other day. So I upload them Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I try to do them Sunday if I'm not uploading Tekken Tech Two because I have been playing Tekken Tech Two a lot recently as well so um you know and some guys want me to get better at that game because they're not really fond of street fight second so my apologies i i gotta use my time or um divide my time up to get good or decent at tekken because i've got street fighters for the lockdown but you know, i want to play some tech attack too because i want to use michelle and angel <laughs> um, that's pretty much it guys um anything else i want to mention ah yes uh some of you guys like the high level poison matches I've, I've got more on the way as well don't worry I'll, I'll, the one thing I'll never run out of on, in this game is matches just trust me on that guys so and we, this is building the community little by little and it's I'm doing my part I'm uploading matches when I can and uh, you know, giving you guys uh, a really decent poison to watch so hopefully uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the match and I'm just getting lovely lovey dovey now I swear to god but um so yeah, uh, just going over what I spoke about, if you guys were not listening to the last 14 and a half minutes. Pretty much talking about young players, how they're aggressive, how they're impatient, how they've just got that just do it attitude. And they should start, if they're playing fighting games seriously now to a competitive level, they should start developing that uh, patience now so when they're older, 
they'll have it on lock. Also, they shouldn't be so nervous when they go to tournaments, because you know, when you go to tournaments the first time, you get really nervous, and it happens to all of us. So, yeah, if you guys um, liked the video, if you guys enjoyed the commentary, please leave a like, it does help me out, not in a financial way, but a motivational way, I say it every single time. But uh, yeah, this has been your boy HC Jams, guys, and I'll see you guys on Friday evening commentary episode 9. So, until then, peace out, YouTube.